Kenny Atkinson trotting out Damari and the fourth and final meeting between the teams. Sixers taking care of business in the last two after losing at Brooklyn on January 30th. One side, three on the other. Robert Covington in charge of D'Angelo Russell, their leading scorer. Damari Carroll having a pretty good season. 235 again, the rookie out of Texas. Brooklyn a good situation for him. Giving him an opportunity to play regularly as Covington snuffs out Harris. And Robert the other way. A very oh. slow start though. Simmons coming up with a steal. He's got company in Covington. And he takes matters as second leading rebounder. Behind the absent Joel Embiid averaging eight per game. Seemingly as Simmons throwing a hip check into Harris. Covington challenging their bench of three. Good job by Covington to knock it away from Hollis Jefferson. It's Reddick for a three, and I'm sure you, I can include you in this. I'm pleasantly surprised to see him getting stronger. T.J. McConnell and Marco Bellinelli for the first time for Brett Brown. From Ohio State, serious injury problems this year. Missed more than a third of the season with a left knee. Expect you to go out there and leave it all out of the line, and don't shortchange yourself for the team. <laughs> Look at the starter at point throughout most of this season. Now turn off the bench. It's Simmons, second turnover in the first quarter. See his li eyes light up there when he saw that avenue. Mark, when you're adjusting and everything's new and the game is so fast and the games are so plentiful. See? Much too much for the Sixers that night. Again, coming off the bench tonight, he caps a 9 nothing spurred by the Nets, which is... No one seems to be taking that right dribble away for Ben. Let's see if he keeps going to it. Dante Cunningham is feeling good. Cunningham is a senior on the main line. Was for the big East. And everyone watching the Sixers were worried about that second unit, how that second unit was going to score, where were the points going to come from as TJ. Simmons is sixth rebound already to go along with eight points. He does have one assist. Ilya Sova promptly turnover. That's good, right? Man, that's <laughs> otherworldly is what it is. Nine and a half to one. It's great. Rashawn Holmes got that one. Holmes taking on AC, a tough customer. Well in spurts, but most of the time struggling to find a rhythm. Ball oh, oh, and a pass. I don't know how he got it. Be like Robert would play passing lanes or try to deflect it and get a steal. There's Robert, as in Covington. Lee Lucy, Damari Carroll. Spencer Dinwiddie out there, boy. Now with Jared Allen in there now, replacing AC at the center spot. Damari Carroll for three. Comes certified in Culture Cities, Sensory Awareness Training, Culture City. In well, tip of the cap to them. Sobering numbers year in and year out about kids affected or on the in this game. It's been a three for Brooklyn. They have ten. JJ on control against D'Angelo Russell. Stauskas, not sure if Covington got a making instinct, which is hard to teach two guards to become point guards. He's got that in him. Russell encountering Amir Johnson on patrol. Chester product now back in the starting lineup. Nice spot Covington. However, Jared Allen erasing the opportunity by Bellinelli and all and shuffle. That's why oftentimes when the Sixers have defensive drills, a large part of it. We got the bucket a few moments ago for the Nets. Sixer lead at four right now. Jared Allen squeezing inside. Around the rim. He's an inconsistent shooter, but that's something that the staff tells me he's working on. But he's an eager guy who picks up a nice soft touch. TJ McConnell with a swipe. All the way in. Got it done. So he kept it, went right into Russell's body, high off the glass. Usually he's looking for someone running with him. Practice, he was a teammate with him at Montverde Academy. And the coach, for some reason, didn't come. Montverde this past weekend. Congratulations to them on becoming the high school national basketball champion. The headband and the number 44. Sean Holmes back in the game. He had 10.7 boards, three assists at this point in the game. Back door is open for Harris, rejected by Covington. 
I mean, that was a full-scale smother. Robert hits for three. Yes! Almost like watching the same player. Kinda is. Simmons end to end lays it home. Ben Simmons. Shoulder a lot of that load. Sixers thinking two for one as Reddick dips in and second difference here between the clocks. There it is. Reddick again. Yes. Nothing. Simply marvelous. Older. Yeah, what older? Getting stronger. Dinwiddie counted and a cool story to the bond he and Coach Atkinson have. Both basically got their break with the Knicks as well. Sixers keeping the Nets at arm's length. Covington with a swipe. Tracked by Allen, so he thinks the better of it. Red X somehow. It's incredibly beneficial when your point guard comes back and rebounds. But when your point guard is 6'10, I know on Twitter there are people who want him to be better and want everything yesterday. But let's just sit back and enjoy. Be his team are affected without it right now. It will come. And maybe guys who have it when they first get here. And Whitty. What I'm starting to think about. Tantalizing dreams right now seeing them both out on the floor for the first time in a while it happened Stauskas would wear the Villanova Shirt during warm-ups and he did and he posed for pictures with a smile Comes from a great family in Mississauga Ontario we send our regards to them. He knew that early in his basketball life Allah in elementary school was a converted Colvin and the Colvin had a very, as you might imagine, low ceiling. So every seconds of talking, those three beautiful words in sequence. By the way, Ben Simmons stepping asleep and often practice facility as well. So you're right. Very familiar with the top five. I was just a bit to play. Why? Because he wants to be part of that very crucial playoff rotation. He's got to prove to Brett Brown he's helping. Even so, the way things are currently constituted, don't you think it's going to be hard for them to crack that rotation? Temporarily, of course. Oh. Your son, Ilya Pumpkins, oh. teams in the NBA. Featuring a balanced attack, and without their leading scorer in Joel Embiid and their fourth leading scorer in Dario Sharge, as Fultz goes all the way in, you can count with the team. Look what he's been doing. Uh, he's been consistent. And he's been productive. We do so by a half game. Indiana also in action tonight. Be sure to join us all Thursday morning and early afternoon for parade coverage. It's, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. It's ironic was the first time they won is Marco win. Okafor working over Amir Johnson. Got it. Johnson in the middle. Has to make it a little more difficult for himself. Too good. Oh. Jaleel facing up because when you face up in the post, all of a sudden no one can touch you. Nice little top pack. Yeah. Defender, you don't want to guard. Oh no, because you're going to be tired and embarrassed at the end of the year. Right. Well, he just looks more like a greyhound now, ready to run, fill lanes. I'm rooting for him to get back in that playoff rotation. Oh. Joe had Cavaliers, but the teams will be even in the loss column. It's TJ McConnell. Thank you. That is, you are on it, man. <laughs> you are on it. Just an old head hip hop fan. Oh. Maz, his fifth three pointer in 15 tries. And this is Ooh. rookie season. <laughs> Two guys went after that one Rashawn and Markel. Ooh. Oh, and oh. Then Clyde was coming to sit down, and someone else would go in. You love the spin. Korkmaz on the run. Wow. 28 years ago. My they first, will advance. Go ahead. My first year in the league? Yeah, that's right. That's crazy. A stat that I know Brett Brown is proud of. The Sixers will go to 20 and 0 this year. It just begins. <laughs> 11 straight wins.